anticipation of the arrival of our host. For the rest, I would like to reassure you that Lord Mortimer always has a few surprising projects to propose. <laughs> but I can assure you that each and every one of us has always benefited from them. <laughs> the last time I came to this place, Lord Mortimer offered to help me in my electoral campaign for the presidency of the United States. And it is imminently clear that his support was an invaluable aid to us. We are here among like-minded people. So let us put aside the conflicts in which some of our nations find themselves at present. So I raise my glass in honor of you all, my new and old friends. I trust you shall not be disappointed, Mr. Washington. We shall meet again tomorrow. All the guests will be present, as well as Lord Mortimer, I hope. Until then, I trust you will find plenty to keep you amused. recap. Before dinner, I was going to investigate my mother's message. I've got to find the place where all eyes size you up. Well, your eminence, do you still have any room left? Ah, my son, the sin of gluttony is the most difficult of all in my eyes. Nevertheless, what a charming moment we have had together. I'm delighted I was able to talk to Mr. Von Volner. We hadn't spoken to each other for an eternity. Yes, I noticed that your eminence knew a fair number of people at the table. The benefit of age, my son. This isn't my first invitation to Lord Mortimer's. You will see, it's the perfect place to make new friends. Indeed, I noticed that you and Mr. Bonaparte had already begun. Ah, I adapt quickly to local customs. It's what I was taught. <laughs> and you are right to do so, my son. But tell me, have you had any news of your mother since your arrival? <sighs> Alas, still nothing, your minutes. But... I still haven't been able to meet Lord Mortimer. Do not worry. It is typical of him. What can I say? Lord Mortimer is a very busy man. 
I should think you are beginning to worry. Well, I, I must admit, Your Eminence, indeed it does worry me. I understand, Louis, but continue to have faith in Santa. You'll see, I'm sure, that in a few days we'll all be laughing together. That's all I hope for, Your Eminence. But while I have you with me, I, I have a question for you. Well, go ahead, Louis. What can I do for you? As I haven't visited all the manor yet, I wondered if you hadn't seen a Medusa by any chance. I beg your pardon? Yes, La, la Gorgogne, the Medusa from Greek mythology. Would you have seen one in any shape or form? Not at all, my son. I'm not sure what you're getting at, but unfortunately I, I'm not going to be of any use to you. Thank you anyway, Your Eminence. I won't take up any more of your time. On that last word, then I shall leave you to fight your demons. See you later, Your Eminence. See you later, my son. Dining on ham. Well, that's very appetizing. The lock is surrounded by a triple circle. Discourse on the Method by Descartes. This book changed the way I looked at the world. The Conversion of Ulysses by Gours. Circe changing Ulysses' companions into swans. is surrounded by a triple circle. The Miller Brothers. Mother expressly forbade me from reading it. A few pages out of an old encyclopedia.
é Sajuab. Chances are, that's the room my mother spoke of. And she also spoke of a Medusa. Should we go and try to find the creature now? Dining with Louis XIV. The king's posture is surprising. It's almost as if he's addressing someone in the assembly. Celia. That name means nothing to me. Christ Crucified by Velasquez. Look, someone's left a note there. Reserved for the Duke of Alquidia. Christ Crucified by Velasquez. Look, someone's left a note there. Reserved for the Duke of Alquidia. Celia, that name means nothing to me. The Song of Roland. Roland feeleth his death is near, his brain is oozing by either ear. With his brain oozing, it's already remarkable that he can feel anything. Ah, François Premier, Receiving the Holy Family, a painting by Raphael. Amber Crystals. The Fall of Phaeton. Another painting by Rubens. Poor Phaeton, struck by lightning for borrowing his father's chariot and losing control of it. Moral, don't steal that amber. The Company by Rembrandt. A meeting between Louis XIV and Philippe V. I wonder why Mortimer is particularly fond of this painting. Last Supper by Leonardo da Vinci. The last day before his crucifixion, Jesus announces that he will be betrayed by one of his disciples. was trying to do with her. The Medusa. A hero armed with a sword? Hmm. A hero with a lantern. And the last one holding a shield. I'll stake my life on it. All the statues form a single scene together. The poor devils are about to face the beast. Let's give them a helping hand.
Thank you.
Pete's sake, Emily. You scared the pants off me. Don't ever do that again. Well, keep your nose out of my business then. I don't know what you're talking about. Stop fooling around and tell me what you're doing here. Oh yeah? So tell me what you're doing here. I'm just, I mean, I... Yeah, just like me. Probably, but I asked the question first. Well then, we'll pretend you haven't asked me yet. What about a little gallantry, Louis? Come on, I'm listening. What are you doing here? I admit everything, madam. You win. I've been bitten by the same bug as you. I beg your pardon? We can't resist being where we shouldn't, seeking out our host's little secrets. So, we have that in common, right? I really thought you were going to answer me this time. Well, no matter. I'll tolerate your presence this one time. Now, since you're here, make yourself useful. Look around on your side. I'll do the same on mine. And if you find anything of interest, let me know. Oh yeah, in your dreams. At your service, madam. Carry on searching. Golden Fleece. It's freezing. Hurry up. Cold? You want a rug? It'll warm you up. I wouldn't be caught dead in that horrible thing. <laughs> That's a pity. The gold color brings out your eyes. And your flattery brings out your boorishness. Unofficial gospel? You'd be more likely to find this kind of book at the Vatican. Nothing special. The library at Buckingham has three. How did the English manage to get their hands on them? When someone wants to attract the attention of the world's leading power, somehow the gifts just pour in. You wouldn't have gone to the Vatican recently, would you? Are you calling me a thief? Certainly not. Never entered my mind. Hey, Mortimer is the author of this work. He talks about his passion for art. Guess what I found? The Holy Grail. Older than that. A piece of Noah's Ark. Not that old. This could go on for hours. Just tell me. Caesar's Laurel Reef. Stop! Don't put your grubby, fat fingers on it. You find my fingers fat? <laughs> At least put on some gloves. Please note, my fingers are slim. You were going to leave marks. My god, what an amateur. Many a harpsichord player would love to have sexy fingers like mine. Tell me where you took your infiltration classes so I can have your tutor executed. Let's compare hands then. We'll soon see whose fingers are fattest. <laughs> no, I'm not going to compare hands with you. Let's just keep going. Bad loser.
Oh, looks like a pamphlet on different political regimes, written by Mortimer himself. You should see the sword, Emily. It's magnificent. I'm busy. Describe it to me. I think this is Excalibur, King Arthur's sword. I've always dreamt of drawing it from the stone. How sweet. You're still clinging to your boyhood dreams. When you finished playing, maybe you can help me search the place? Here's something interesting. A manor in Maine, hundreds of acres of land in Catalonia, properties in Shanghai. Incredible. Some of these deeds are over 600 years old and all signed by the hand of Mortimer. I wonder if that's what inspired my mother's attention. How come all these documents have Mortimer's signature on them? Do you think all these properties really belong to him? Several people have played the part of Mortimer, a part that has been passed down from generation to generation. Different men, but with one sole identity. An intriguing hypothesis, and yet less twisted than some of my previous cases. At last, you finally agree with me about something. These documents are intriguing, but do you really think that's what attracted your mother's attention here? And how do you know my mother was interested in this room? I didn't know, I just supposed she was. And you just confirmed it. So, do you think she found what she came for? I don't know. She was obsessed with Mortimer, and I must confess, these property deeds are troubling. If that's the case, why would she have left them? Once again, I don't know. We'll have to ask her when we find her. And what's your take? Mortimer's collection is unique, isn't it? That's an understatement. No doubt he has a major passion for history and fine art, or getting gifts. If each time Mortimer does someone a favor, they reward him with a priceless gift, that means he must have helped nearly everybody in the world. I wonder why my mother didn't make it clear what she was interested in here. She didn't have time to write it down, or maybe she wasn't sure of what she was looking for. Or she wanted to protect her discoveries. It's disturbing. You'll just have to search the rest of the room. Maybe you'll find something. Carry on searching. What is that you found? A cameo pendant. What's going on? Nothing. For crying out loud, Emily, you lunged for that jewel like your life depended on it. Tell me what this is about. No. We just met, Louis. I like you, but I can't just suddenly open myself up like a book to you. Listen, Emily. It seems pretty obvious to me that you haven't come here for the sole purpose of sampling Mortimer's cellar. Stop all the clever evasions and just trust me. And why the hell should I place my trust in you, Louis? At least this way, things are clear. How do you expect me to open up to you at all if you can't even reassure me? Well, I'm prepared to trust you when it comes to choosing a French cheese, but I've nothing to gain by confiding in you any further than that. Nothing to gain? Damn it, Emily! I'm only trying to help you. Stop needing to gain something all the time. Because you think I need help? Just like everyone. You have your strengths and your weaknesses, and there's no use pretending otherwise. Ha! <laughs> And I bet you found out where I'm weak, haven't you? Bribery, lies, double talk. I find it hard to imagine you speaking the special language required when dealing in politics. My friend, I belong to the English aristocracy. 
I am married to a duke. I regularly rub shoulders with the powerful of the Chamber of Lords. And whenever Mortimer wants to have the ear of the Queen, I'm the one he turns to. Remind me why you were called here? Oh shit, I've screwed this up. I might have some weaknesses, but I don't need your help to overcome them. And I'm simply not contemplating collaborating with anyone at this time. Do you understand? Yes, it's perfectly clear. You're already working with someone. Ah, well spotted, Louis. I already have a work partner. I know my weaknesses. I don't doubt that your abilities will be of use to me, but I already have all that, thanks to my teammate. Is there any chance you might tell me who he is? Mm, no, I've already said too much. Consider yourself lucky I've even given you this much. It's extremely rare, believe me. Come on, don't stop now that you've come this far. You know that eventually I'll end up making you talk. Well, since no one can resist you, let's see if you can guess who my partner is. You're a gambler. So, your partner is... Chances are, you're working with a member of the Order. The only members of the Order other than ourselves are your mother and Mr. Washington. The former has sadly gone missing. As for the latter, I knew nothing of his arrival. Incidentally, you must have noticed how inefficiently our Order communicates internationally. It's as obvious as it is surprising. You're my mother's hard-hitting partner. Oh, God, do you really believe the nonsense that comes out of your mouth? Well, a second ago I did, a little. Sorry, Louis, your mother is not my partner. Right, time is short. You haven't convinced me. I prefer to remain discreet. Don't take it the wrong way. All I can tell you is I'm looking for my sister. And if I reacted so strongly at the sight of the cameo pendant, it's because I thought it belonged to her. But it doesn't. I understand. I won't insist. It's time to leave. So, what do you think of our first adventure? I must admit, it has been fun by your side. Same here. Oh, she's been drinking too much again. Louis, I need to talk to you right now. Good evening, Elizabeth. Actually, this is not a good time. I'm begging you, please, don't leave me alone. I'll be waiting for you in your room, but don't be late. I was sure there was a certain je ne sais quoi between us. Louis, we need to talk now, otherwise it'll be too late. Looks like Elizabeth really needs me, but if I start talking to her, for sure Emily won't wait for me. What should I do? Excuse me, Elizabeth, but some very urgent business has cropped up. We can speak tomorrow. No, Louis, don't leave me alone! They've come back! Good night, madam. Well, well, Louis, you took your sweet time. What did our poor Elizabeth want?
The truth is, I really don't have the slightest idea. But I thought all of that could wait until tomorrow. That young girl seems very... Emily? Have I misunderstood something here? What are you doing in my room? And for a while now, the question has been nagging at me. And that explains why I now find you here in my bed. Go ahead. Ask me the question that's been burning at your lips. I know your mother was here to meet someone, but I can't figure out who. Oh, so that's what's been hiding behind all this. We are both members of the Order, Louis. Let's try to be honest with each other. I have followed with great interest your affair in Paris, in connection with Mr. Von Borschert. You managed to steal something from him, if I'm not mistaken. Are you talking about the Book of All Mysteries? al Azif? That's right, Louis. A valuable bit of plunder, isn't it? Yeah. When we finally found it, we took it. And where is the book right now? Amazingly, it's right here. Mother took it with her when she came. This is quite fascinating. But just what did Sarah expect to accomplish here? My mother came here to find out who Von Burchard planned on selling the book to. And did she find out? I have no idea, but I think she thought it would be someone invited to Mortimer's next party. You mean, one of us here now? That's what I think. It wouldn't be you, by any chance. Unfortunately, no. I was planning to steal it myself. Thank you for all this information, Louis. Right, enough chatting. Come and join me instead. go, Louis. I don't want anyone finding me here in the morning. You're right. Well, have a good night. Good night. See you tomorrow, rested and ready. Sure thing. Monsieur de Richet, at last we meet.
Alright, let's recap. Before dinner, I was going to investigate my mother's message. I've got to find the place where all eyes size you up. 